season replays, fantasy drafts, ultimate created leagues, and what if tournaments. It's Coffee Cup Games with the coach DKM. Hey, 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 this is Coach DK with Coffee Cup Games. Hope you guys are having a good one. We are doing another home run derby. We've been doing different franchises from the American League Central, and we are finally down to the last team, the Minnesota Twins. The two greatest all-time hitters in franchise history is Kent Herbeck and Harmon Killebrew. Herbeck had 293 home runs as a Minnesota Twins, while Harmon Killebrew had a whopping 559 dingers. So, obviously, my money is on Harmon Killebrew, as I believe, as one of the greatest all-time home run hitters in Major League Baseball history. He should be able to win this one easily, but can Ken Herbeck come up and find a way to upset Killebrew? So, let's go ahead. Let's jump into the home run derby of the two greatest home run hitters in Minnesota Twins franchise history. But before we do, and as I always do, I'm going to ask you guys to take a quick moment, hit the thumbs up, and like the video, subscribe to the channel, go ahead subscribe to the channel go ahead hit the button and of course lastly leave any questions comments or snide remarks in the comment section down below so now let's jump into the battle between Ken Herbeck and Harmon Killebrew the two all-time leaders in Minnesota Twins franchise history <laughs> All right, here we are at Metropolitan Stadium in Minneapolis. It is a good day, which means left-handed hitters will have a 1-20 to chance for a ballpark home run, and right-handed hitters will have a 1-15, to so expecting a lot of home runs here. Ken Urbach is going to lead us off. Here's the pitch, and it's going to be a fly ball that he pulls into right field. It's not going to have a distance, so that's going to be one down. And now, secondly, he's going to hit a line ball that's going to hit the back of the infield, so that's going to be two down. And now with his third pitch, he's going to hit a ground ball towards second base, so a one, two, three inning, no home runs for Kent Herbeck. Harmon Killebrew is up to bat. He needs a 1-15 to as he lifts this one in the left center field. It's going, going, and it is gone. He gets a 2, so that's going to be a home run to lead it off. And now he's going to hit another one in the left center field. This one is destroyed, about 25 rows back. That's going to be a second home run. And now here's another one. This one's down the line. It's trying to stay fair, and it just stays inside the pole by about a foot. So that's going to be good enough for a home run. He needed a 1-15. to 15. It was a 14. And now he's going to lift one in the left center field, and this one just gets over the wall. His fourth home run is yet to make an out, and now he's going to hit his fifth shot into the stands and left center field about 15 rows back. Harmon Killebrew starting it off on fire, and he's going to hit another one in the left center field. This one just gets over the wall. That's going to be a six home run. And now finally he hits a line ball that's going to hit the infield toward third base. So he finally has an out. But six home runs to lead this one off. And now he's going to pop this one up towards short. That's going to be two down. And now here's the pitch. He lifts this one in the left center field. This is a line drive that is going to be easily over the wall. Home run for Harmon Killebrew. And now he hits one again in the left center field. This one's going, going gone home run number eight in the first and now he goes opposite field in the right field this one's going to land on the grass that's going to be his third out but Harmon Killebrew with eight home runs to lead off the first inning yeah boy top of the second Urbach already well behind in this one he needs a one to 15 for a home run he gets this one in the right center field it's trying to get over the wall and it just gets over the wall that line drive had just enough height to it and now he's going to pull one in the right field this one's going to be shallow so that's going to be his first out he's now going to hit one in the dead center field this one is a high fly ball that's going to land toward the warning track but will not have the distance that's going to be two down and now he's going to pull one in the right field. This one's going, going, and this one will make it into the crowd in right field. That's going to be a home run. And now he hits one in the dead center field. This one's tracking, and it will get over the wall. 
That is going to be his third home run as he has two outs trying to add some more. He needs a 1-15 to as he pulls this one in the right center field. And this one easily is going to be an 11. So that's good enough for a home run as he's cut the lead in half. And now only trails by four. He goes opposite field on the left. And this one's going to be lazily landing into the grass. So that's going to end the top of the second. But he does bounce back with four home runs of his own. Harmon Killebrew now up to bat has eight. Could he break the all-time record in Coffee Cup Games history for our 1v1 home run derby that is held by Ken Griffey Jr. with 39? Here's the pitch. He's going to hit a ground ball to third. That's going to be one down. Now he's going to lift one in the left field. This one's a line drive that's going to land easily shallow. That's going to be two down. And then he's going to now hit one in the left center field. This one's going. It should, it could, and it will be a home run. So he gets a home run in this inning, and now he needs a 1-15 to 15 for a home run. As This one's going to be hit toward left field, and it's going to hit off the wall. So he needed a 1-15. to 15. It's going to be a 20. So Harmon Killebrew only gets one home run in that inning, but still leads by five. Top of the third, here's Herbeck. Herbeck's going to go and pull this one into right field, and this one's going to land inside the park, so that's going to be an out. Now he's going to hit another one in the right field. This one's pretty much a routine fly out, so that will be two down, and now he hits one in the right center field. This one's a line drive. Will it have enough height? It does, so that's going to be a home run for Herbeck. Now he's going to hit another one in the right center field. This one obviously has more height. There's not going to be any doubt about that one. That's his second home run, and now he's going to hit a lazy fly ball into the outside of the infield. So that's going to be the third out, but he does add two more and closes the gap as he now only trails by three. Here's Killebrew. Killebrew, seeing that Herbeck is getting close, he leads off by hitting one in the dead center field that he destroys. So that's going to be a home run, and now he hits another one in the center field. This one looks like it's got plenty of juice, and it does. Two home runs for him and now he hits another one in the center field his third shot in the center field but this one is going to land about 15 feet in front of the warning track so that's going to be his first out he hits his fourth straight shot in the center field this one is crushed no doubt about it as this one hits off that back wall that is behind the home run wall so that's going to be a home run and now he hits another one in the dead center field. This one more toward left center, but it still makes it over the wall. So that's his fourth home run in the inning, and only has one out. He needs a 1-15 to 15 as he pulls this one in the left field. This is a 2, so this is going to be easily into the stands. About 17 rows in, and now he's going to hit one in the left center field. Starting to spread this ball out as it makes it into the stands in the left center. About four rows over the wall, and that's the sixth home run. And now he's going to hit a little blooper that's going to be toward third base, and that's going to be a second out. And now he needs a 1-15. to 15. This one's going down the line. Will it stay fair? It just hooks outside the foul line. And so that is going to be his third out. He needed a 1-15. to 15. It was a 17. So after three innings, Killebrew with 15, that's right, 15 home runs. Ken Urbach has six. Top of the fourth, Urbach trying to bounce back and get back into this one. He's going to pull this one in the right field. It is a line drive. That's going to be an easy out. So that's going to be one down. Here's the pitch as he pulls another one in the right field. This one's toward the line, but it's not going to be close to the wall. That's going to be two down. And now he lifts one into right center field. Everybody just stands up and their jaws drop as this one is destroyed off the scoreboard in right center field. Here's the pitch. He now hits another one in the right center field. Will this one have the distance? It will. That's going to be another home run for... Kent Herbeck, and now he's going to unfortunately pop out. That's going to be his third out, but he does get two home runs back, and he now trails by only seven. And now Killebrew is going to lift one in the left field in the bottom of the fourth, and that's going to be one down. Here's the pitch. He needs a one. It's going to be an 11. So this one's going to hit off the warning track at the bottom of the wall. That's going to be a second out. And now he needs a 1-15 to 15 for a home run. This one's going down the line, and it's going to be fair as it's about 15 feet inside the wall, but just barely gets over the wall. That will be a home run as he rolled a 13. And now he hits one in the center field. This one is a line drive that will not have the height as it bounces and then rolls into the wall. So that's going to be his third out. But he does add a home run and then still is doubling Herbeck's total as Killebrew is winning this one 16-8. to Here we go. Top of the fifth. Here's Herbeck. 
Urbex going to pull this one in the right field. This one's going to be a line drive, not going to be deep enough. That's going to be an out. And now he hits one in the right field again. This one's shallow, so that's going to be a second out. And now he's going to hit one in the dead center field. This one hoping to have the legs, and it will as that one just kept on going and going. So that one's given a ride, and that's going to be a home run. And now he hits one in the right center field. Will Herbeck have enough? And it will, as is enough power in that one to clear the fence, and that's going to be another home run. And now he needs a 1-15. to 15. This 20 die roll is a 1, so there's no doubt about that one. His third home run in the inning. He still has two outs and is still popping out some home runs. As he does it again, his fourth home run. This one well off the scoreboard in right field. He crushed that one. Here's the pitch, and now he pulls this one in the right field. This one is a blooper that's going to land in the right. That's going to end his fifth inning as he does put up four home runs, cuts the lead in half, and now trails by four. Here's Killebrew. Killebrew is going to pull this one in the left field. This one's not going to have the distance, so that's going to be one down. Here's the pitch, and he's going to hit one in the center field toward the pole, the flag pole. Stays about 10 feet to the left of that one, and it's going to be far enough for a home run. So now he's going to hit another one in the center field. This one is heading toward the flagpole. It's going to bounce twice, and they're going to roll right next to the flagpole. Not a home run, but he still is up to bat, and now he's going to pull one into left field. This one is a line drive, has plenty of height, but not enough distance, and that's going to be his third out, as now we go into the top of the six with Killebrew leading this one 17-12. to 12. Top of the six, Ken Herbeck. Here's the pitch. He's going to pull this one in the right field. This one is going, but it's going to land on the grass. So that's going to be an out. Here's the pitch, and he is going to crush this one into right center field. A line drive that just seemed to keep on going, and that's going to be a home run. And now he's going to pull one in the right field. This one is a good routine fly ball. That would have made an out in the game, let alone it's an out in our home run derby. So he has two down. And now here's the pitch. He goes center field. This one seems to be trailing and tailing, and it will get over the wall, not by much. It is good enough for a home run. And now he tops this one, hits a line ball right toward the first baseline. So that's going to end his effort as he is now, after the top of the six, has 14 home runs. Killebrew up. He has 17. He's winning by three. He's going to start off with a fly ball into center field. This one's going to be a routine out. So that's one down, and now he's going to hit one again into center field. This one has been crushed. This might be over that wall in dead center field that is behind the fence, and it hits the top of it. He absolutely destroys it. That had to be well over 450 feet. And now he's going to pull one into left center field. This one is going to be into the stands. That'll be his second home run in the inning. And now he's going to pull one in the left field. This one is going to be a little bit toward the center. And so that's going to hit the grass. That's going to be two down. And now he's going to hit one again in the center field. This one is a line drive. Has plenty of height. As that was a screamer. And that's going to be another home run. And now he's going to hit one in the left center field. This one is trying to make it, and it will. Four rows over the fence. His fourth home run in the inning. And now he's going to end the inning with a fly ball into left field. But Carmen Killebrew, after six innings, is winning this one 21-14. to 14. Top of the seventh. We're in our final nine at-bats for each hitter. Ken Urbach's going to be up. He's going to start off with a shot into right center field. This one is high and does get over the wall. Wasn't sure if it was too high and wouldn't have the distance. It does. So that will be a home run for him. And this one is even higher, but this one's not even going to make it out of the infield as this pops up. And that's going to be an out. Here's the pitch as he hits this one in the center field. Everybody knows this one's not going to have the distance. That's going to be two down. And now he's going to hit another pop-up. This one towards second base just lands outside the infield. So that's going to end the top of the seventh for Urbach. And now Harmon Killebrew is up. And Killebrew is going to hit a line ball to third base. That's going to be one down. And now he's going to hit a pop-up, a huge towering pop-up that doesn't even make it out of the infield towards short. That's going to be two down. And now he's going to hit one in the left center field. This one seems to have plenty of juice. And it does, as that's going to be a home run. 
And so he has put one on the board, and now he's going to do it again with another shot in the left center field. This one about 10 rows back. That's a home run. And he's not done yet as he hits another one, the third ball in a row into left center. This one easily over the fence. That's a home run. And now he's going to end the inning with a fly ball to left field. That's going to be his third out. But Harmon Killebrew making sure that he keeps on closing the door on Urbeck. We go into the top of the eighth. Urbeck is up. He's going to hit a ground ball to second. That's going to be one down as he doesn't even make it out of the infield. And now he's going to hit one in the right center field as he pulls this one. And this one is off the scoreboard and it's going to be a home run. And now he goes opposite field in the left center and he crushes one. I think that's the first home run Urbeck has done going opposite field. And he made no doubt about that one. He now pulls one. This one's going to be a line drive into right field. That's his second out. And he's going to end the inning topping one as he hits a ground ball that barely makes it past the first base. And that's going to be it for him after eight. He has 17 and now Killebrew's up. He has 24. He's going to hit a fly ball into right field. And that's going to be an out as he goes opposite field. So one down. And now he needs a 1 to 15 as he pulls this one. This one's going to be over the wall. No, it hits the top of the wall. He needed a 1 to 15. It's a 16. That's going to be his second out. And he's going to now hit one in the left field. And that's going to be a routine out. So for the first time, Killebrew has put up a goose egg in any hopes of trying to break Ken Griffey Jr.'s record of 39 home runs in our 1v1 match in Home Run Derby. And I pretty much can guarantee he's not going to get that. Ken Urbeck, his last chance to come back and take a win here as he's going to need a bunch of home runs, and he needs one as this one just gets over the wall in right center. He needed a 1-15. to 15. He gets the 15, and so now he's got a home run on the board, and this time he hits a fly ball into center field, and it's going to land right before the warning track, a long fly ball, but unfortunately that is an out, and now he's going to hit one as he pulls this one into right field. This one into the stands about five rows in. That's going to be a second home run. He apparently doesn't want to be counted out yet. He's now with his third home run in the inning as he has this one in the dead center. Barely gets over the wall, but it is deep enough. And Herbeck just whiffed at that one. Swung as hard as he could and missed it. So that's going to be two outs. And the game is going to be over as he hits a lazy fly ball into right field. He did make it respectable with three home runs in the ninth. And he loses this one, unfortunately. 24-20 to to Carmen Killebrew. There you go. Another home run derby. Our last franchise from the American League Central, the Minnesota Twins, as Ken Urbeck and Armin Killebrew battled it out. Armin Killebrew with eight home runs in the first inning to take a commanding lead and pretty much ran away with this one. Ken Urbeck did try to make it respectable at the end. He did get the 20 home runs, but it wasn't even close to enough as Killebrew had 24. So that has concluded all the home run leaders from each franchise in the American League Central. I'm not sure which division we're going to do next. Hope you guys are enjoying the series. Until next time, this is Coach DK. Have a good one. Bye.